It's John and Rachel, and we're jacking around with Troy Palomalo and his wife, Theodora. And we're playing football. Wait, who's playing football? Troy Troy's is coming, coming back, back to play football. football. So it's John and Rachel and uh, Troy and Theodora. Thank you so much for jacking around with us. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. <laughs> we miss you. We still act like you're here all of the time, but your roots have been here and you're doing some great things as usual. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect in the terms of football that we just talked about. Well, uh, you know, I'll answer the football question yeah, football's, first and foremost. Football's all you, yes. You know, I think the exciting thing uh, from the football perspective is it's Coach Tom versus Coach Cower. Yes. And I think that's a really cool thing. I mean, they, they, of course, have you know showed a level of humility that, and they're having a lot of fun with this. Um, and you know Ben will be out there, and uh, Kurt Angle, and a lot of a lot of great, uh, uh, you know, some still future have to be named, and sure. you know, save for the for the special day. But um, it's going to be a really fun seven on seven football, and uh, it'd be a great time for the community to come out and see a lot of local legends outside of football, including um, Steely legends. Love that. Now, Theodora, this is to benefit. This isn't just a bunch of guys getting together to play and have a little reunion we'll anymore, football, right? Yeah. This is a great benefit, right? Yes, uh, we're, we're putting this um, together and it's to um, benefit the Neighborhood Resilience Project, which is an institute in Pittsburgh that works in trauma-informed community development. It's led by Father Paul Abernathy. They've been in existence since uh, 2011. 2011. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Hill District right there. Okay. Yes. Yep. It's in the Hill District. And um, the work that they're doing is just truly improving the lives of many in the underserved communities in and around Western PA and also in multiple other cities right now. Yeah, they've actually, on HBO, they, they, they actually covered the Neighborhood Resilience Project. And, they, yes. you know, during the pandemic, they yes. actually uh, came in very key uh, for the community. Uh, as parents, is it becoming more and more obvious the need to be good leaders, ambassadors of the importance of what community brings? Not, not just in the faith community, but why it's important to know your neighborhood and why to have things like that, like this, that impact other people. Yes, I think it's very important um, for people to understand that without community, you don't really have the same kind of assurances of you know knowing what's going on, but also how to really improve the lives of people around you and for our kids and for other people to see that it's important to support your neighbor. It's important to go and do this type of work. It really helps express that notion and, and the importance of just, you know, making sure that people are taken care of and they'll take care of you back. That That's reciprocity it. is so essential to living and growing and making sure our communities are safe too. Um, what, so beautiful about the Neighborhood Resilience Project is that because it's community led, it's people from inside those communities who really understand what's going on that tell us what's going on and how they, it, things can be addressed there sure. to what will be most beneficial to them, mm -hmm. right. which in turn makes everything better for everyone around. So. Right. Yeah. It's just a really wonderful and way. And nothing better than a flag football game yeah. in a neighborhood. I mean, that's what yeah. we do yeah. here in Pittsburgh. Our I neighborhoods think, are our treasures, that's right? That's right. Yeah, I think one And there's thing so many. I love it. So many. Yeah. So many. <laughs> that's what's so great, I feel, about sports is is that's where you really start to interact with your neighbor. You know, you have, you have your children playing with, sure. with different parents sometimes yeah. from different neighborhoods. And uh, I think that's the beauty of sports, and that's what the beauty of sports in Pittsburgh has, has really brought, and especially football. I and mean, what better way in Pittsburgh to bring everybody in the community around football? We do, obviously, during the season. But this time, guess what? Everybody's going to walk away happy. I yeah, guarantee yeah, you that. Yeah, yeah. you know? There's so, no losers. There's no losers. Yeah, on May 21st. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. It is May 21st, yeah. and it's at Acrisure Stadium, which yeah. is super yeah. cool. So every, and it's $10 for people to get. Now, Troy, I have to tell you that we've missed you at the gym. We, remember when we used to work out? <laughs> and I used to spot you. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I mean, that, that, I don't want to show these things. I don't want to show these things. But, yeah. but, uh, but seriously, I, I would like you both just to talk as we close, just to talk. The Steeler Way. People talk about the Steeler Way. So it's very evident from many of the players what the Steeler Way is. But I'd also ask Theodore, what's mm. the Steeler Way from the spouse's standpoint? Oh, wow. Thank you so much for that question. And it is a very unique standard. It is a very unique way of participating not only in your spouse's life, but also within the greater good of the organization itself and, and in the city of Pittsburgh. Um, I would say that one of the really most beautiful experiences, and I feel very blessed that his whole career was here, is that the way that the Rooney family has run the team has always been very family oriented and making sure that we were taken care of. I always had a very close relationship with all of the medical staff and trainers. 
And I don't think that that's always available to every person that comes in, their spouse, to be included in those conversations if you wanted to. And that kind of extension of actual care beyond the, the, the field really mattered a lot to our family, as well as all of the support that the organization does continually give to a lot of the players, even if they're not playing anymore. Um, the support that they've shown us as well for this game, giving us Accusure Stadium to use. Um, there's too many in-kind donations from them to even really uh, acknowledge because they're so, it just continues sure. to come in because they're so wonderful. As well as the Citroen 33 Foundation. Mm -hmm. They're another minority owner in the team and they have been just so gracious and helpful. And they're like that with every organization in the city. So mm -hmm. it's something that you don't see anywhere else. But they, that is, they're the example. Absolutely. But that's the standard, that's the example, uh, yeah. and that's what they set for the spouses. And we try to emulate it as much as possible and understanding that. And also we bring it into our families when we're raising our kids in, in the different places that we might end up. We might not always be in Pittsburgh, we can be in other places. But what we take from that is that when we have a certain understanding of what we expect, it doesn't go, it's not less than that. This is what it is and this mm. is how we have to maintain it or grow it. Wow, you lead by example. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for coming back to Pittsburgh, for bringing this for us. We miss you, but we're so glad that you're here. We cannot Thank wait for you. May 21st to get here. What's the website to uh, get tickets? Yeah. www.neighborhoodresilience.org. Nice.